Hey, check this out. A massive solar flare early yesterday morning sent a fast moving cloud of charged particles towards Earth, triggering a geomagnetic storm warning. And lots of you noticed these are just some of the photos that you sent last night of the Aurora Borealis lighting up the sky across our region. The Space Weather Prediction Center experts uh, say expects to show um, can to continue this evening. And if you want to try to catch a glimpse tonight, here are a few tips for you. Look north right after it gets dark and bring a camera. Try not to use your phone. The bright light from the screen can mess with your eyes ability to see the faint colors and long exposure shots with a camera are key here. They could potentially reveal shimmering greens and reds that you might not be able to see for yourself. You also have to stay up late enough to do it. Yeah, it's a trick. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> this is cool to read, right? I'm sticking with the same topic. So our friend Jim Todd, who is the director of space and science education over at OMSI, he keeps us updated on these things. And Jim's email says, a severe G4 geomatic storm, which added, uh, which added beginning middle to late day on November 12th. The storm could carry likely to November 13th. The fast moving CME was propelled towards Earth by an X5.1 solar flare early Tuesday morning. Sounds bad. All right. <laughs> I just get a kick out of reading that. I honestly have very limited education in that field. <laughs> All right, we've got clouds. Uh, I can't find anything reaching the ground. You see the radar showing the green, but that just means, again, the radar beam is hitting water droplets up at the in the clouds, but nothing is dropping. I do think we'll stay solid overcast today, and, and maybe we get some sprinkles, but overall, a dry day. And dry this morning at the coast, but you folks at the beach could see some rain shower activity pick up and just kind of nip along the beaches this afternoon. Uh, temperatures near 50 this morning and then nearing 60, if not hitting 60 this afternoon. I show 58 at 2 p.m., maybe hitting 60 and back down to 58 at 5 o'clock. Overcast skies right now, 47 degrees. Winds are generally light. You folks out in East Multnomah County, Trotsville Airport reporting an east wind at 15. Uh, Gresham's a 50, Happy Valley 52. Again, with the cloud cover, nobody's really chilly. It's 46 out in Forest Grove and up in Scappoose. And then we have this little warm of warmer uh, wave, pardon me, of warmer weather that's slowly trying to push up to the north. And that's why you see all the 50s in uh, Salem and even 53 degrees out in Silverton. So the weather map today. Best bet to have thinning cloud cover for partly sunny conditions at times will be central and eastern areas of our state. There is a lot of cloudiness statewide. And look at the temp, 62 John Day, 63 in Bend. The overcast skies, again, maybe some showers nipping right along the shoreline this afternoon. Seven-day forecast for you. So it looks like in Portland, outside of a sprinkle, we stay dry today, we stay dry this evening. And then overnight into tomorrow morning, we get some shower activity. But the weather models for rain totals Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday continue to back down. At this point, you have to start making the assumption that it's going to be more dry than wet, but each day will probably carry at least some rain at times, and that's your update.